Hey YouTube, my name is Heather and I love anti-MLM content here on YouTube. Today I'm really excited for us to watch a quick video from 2020 from literally the first Monet Market partner, Tony Van Choik, who's doing a check-in from Bora Bora during the 2020 Monet Elite Trip. Now, elite trips in MLM are earned by only the very, very top distributors in each company, and it's almost impossible for your average person to join Monate, to join any MLM company, work their way up the pyramid, and actually get to one of these trips. I'm really excited to watch this video, and as always, please let me know what you think about this down below. Hey guys, well, let me see here. I think the signal is um, is a little sketchy out here, but I wanted to come out here and I, want, I wanted to wanted to show you the view a little bit from our deck and looking out the window. But I'm sitting at the table here, um, yes, in Bora Bora at the St. Regis. But I had to come to you live today because you guys, you know. So a lot of the times when people go on these MLM elite trips, they'll always show the beautiful views, the beautiful land and water and the amazing food that they'll be able to access on these trips as a way to create FOMO or fear of missing out. And what I wonder is, why can't we work in a job where we get a regular salary or regular wage and then we can save up and go on our own vacation ourselves? Now, I know your average person might not be able to save up enough money to go to Bora Bora, but I feel like if you're nearby a beach, you could save up a bit of money for extra gas and uh, one or two nights at a hotel and like go and spend spend your weekend at the beach, right? Like it doesn't need to be amazing international trips for a vacation. It could just be spending time with your spouse in a new place in an environment that's affordable for you, but also different and exciting, right? It doesn't always have to be big magical trips. And in MLM, that's really touted as like the ultimate prize. It's assumed that everyone wants to travel around the world. And there's never the, there's never the, the acknowledgement that, hey, if you just worked a job where you got paid for your time, you could go on trips and just pay for it yourself. You know, I'm all about doing the do. And, <clears throat> you know, um, I stepped away and was really... Tony, what in the world is doing the do? I love these stupid sayings, doing the do. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? Do you mean you still want to work even while you're on vacation, while you're supposed to be enjoying your time in paradise? You're still going to do the do because in MLM, you cannot just take a breather. You always have to monetize everything you're doing. You have to monetize sitting on this deck, looking at the water instead of just enjoying it. You need to make it so people want to join you next year. You need to monetize eating lunch with your friends. It's not just enjoying time with your friends. It's I have amazing time freedom so I can just hang out with my friends and not work. Even though you are working, if you post about it on your social media because you feel like you have to and your upline is pressuring you to do so focusing on my personal business um, and it's kind of like it's the, like this ebb and flow thing and then I really took a look at you know our amazing team and I said okay I said these people have been consistent and some of them have been consistent for years and I've talked about this before you are not stuck you are consistent we have to change the words that are in our head but here's the thing um, I think you guys pretty much Tony, if someone says they're stuck, that means they're stuck. I hate the idea in MLM where people just tell you what you're feeling is not true and that you are just thinking negatively, right? And so we're not stuck. We're just being consistent. Well, Tony, if you tell us that if we join you, we're going to make $1,000 a month if we just do what you say and we do what you say and then we start to wonder why we're not making $1,000 a month, I think it's totally reasonable and valid to say, hey, Tony, like, I'm not making any money here. What's going on? Can you help me? And instead of giving your downline tips and advice, because you know, if your downline ranks up, then you're going to make more money. Instead of doing that, you're just telling them you're not stuck. Just be consistent. You're just being consistent. And I don't like that. And I don't like the idea of toxic positivity and just switching up your mindset to have a positive thought instead of dwelling on the negative. And I'm sorry, but not making money when you were told you're going to make money. 
that's okay to complain about because that sucks much know by now i am a people person period um covid was really really hard for me and my personal business suffered because i wasn't able to get out and meet new people i really ramped up really got I feel that, right? Like people who were really outgoing, who are really outgoing, they weren't able to connect with people in person during COVID. And I totally understand how that would be really, really tough for people, especially in her case, if she does recruit and get new customers through in-person interactions, she would have had to quickly adapt and figure out new ways to connect with people for her business you know better on instagram and stuff like that but for me that's not where it's at so here we are you guys i am talking to every single person that i can at the resort so yesterday um at lunch okay so let me back up sunday morning i'm in the gym working out and there's this really cute girl she also speaks french um but her boyfriend says eastern time and that's where they're from and i said i said oh hey where are you guys from and, and uh, i said i'm on the east coast too and um, they said, oh, we're from Florida, and they're actually right outside of Doral and Miami, and they flew the Ernettas here. I'm not kidding you. So I saw them at lunch yesterday, and I talked to them about what we did, and they're like, oh, yeah, the family's so nice. So I was telling them more about it, and I'm, and I'm like, you guys have got to try the hair care and the wellness products because, you know, they were in the gym working out, and I said, we have skin care too, and um, I would love for you to become a customer. And she's like, yeah, great. She's like, here's, you know, here's my information. So you guys... So when we're on vacation, we can't even just like take a break from seeing people like dollar signs. We have to see a cute girl and start talking to her, not because we just think she's cool, but because we want to sell a product to her. And, oh, well, you can use the wellness products because they're in the gym. So they would want to have protein and energy sticks, right? Of course, of course. And it's just, it's so it's not sincere at all just connecting with people with the purpose of selling them something or joining encouraging them to join you as a member of your downline it's so sad and we can't even just enjoy Bora Bora without thinking of our business when we get back I got a new VIP okay so also too I've been working with this girl she was actually my second Instagram lead she's from New York she's finally ready to order because she was going back and forth do I want to be a, a VIP or a market partner? And, you know, we've decided on VIP, but it took her about a week to decide. But it was the follow-up, the follow-up, the follow-up. Um, and then I have another gal that used to be a VIP, but her, she let her membership lapse. She saw the wellness. She's signing up right, like, now as we speak. So, you guys, the, we have to follow up. We have to follow up all of the time. And we also still have to utilize technology that we have. Okay, so here... So we have to follow up all of the time. We've heard this countless times in my videos on my little channel here and all videos following up in MLM speak is not, not taking no for an answer. It is not believing people when they say they have a price objection or another kind of objection. It's assuming that the, the reasoning behind their objection is some kind of insecurity that you have to showcase how the products can help them overcome it. And an objection is never about the person pitching the product. It's never about the product. It's about some internal struggle, internal issue that your prospect is experiencing. So when she says follow up all the time, in my opinion, she means harass them, message them until they say yes. Here's the thing. You guys know that I'm doing the 100 no challenge this month for our six year birthday. But wait, there's more. Because guess what next Tuesday night is? Next Tuesday night is our next big giveaway call and event. Um, so we're I just want to stop before she goes into her next point. 100 no challenge for the month. So she, that means you don't necessarily just talk to 100 people. You have to talk to 100 people and get them to the point of making a decision to be a customer or a market partner. And they say yes or no. And if someone says yes to you, that doesn't count as your 100 no's. You need to go out and seek 100 no's in a month. That is crazy. That, that's exhausting. That's so many people to talk to because you're not just talking to 100 people. You might be talking to 600 people and only 200 respond to you. And then uh, 170 people ghost you and you constantly have to be adding more people to your list to try to get those 100 no's. I'm going to let her talk for a second.
So we're going to have awesome training and um, I have written down so many things that I have learned with the leaders that I am here with, like Sarah Hill, Joe Irigoyen, Liz Lugo, um, Jackie Ortega. I've had a great time and this is why it's so important that you earn these incentive trips is to I love this stupid ass name dropping. We all know who the top um, Mane leaders are. You don't need to tell us. And we're not going to, your average person is not going to earn this incentive trip and hang out with Joe. What's her name? Jacqueline Ortega. Like that's not going to happen. And I hate that people are saying you need to get here next year so you can hang out with all these celebrities too. And they, they know that there's only a limited number of people who can actually make it to the top and only a limited number of people who get on these trips is to sit down and learn about people and learn what they're doing that makes them successful and take your little takeaways and apply the ones that you really find value to your business. So I've learned a lot since I've been here. I've sat down, I've listened, we've cried, we've talked about our challenges, we've talked about our opportunities, but you guys, you know what? We're here to make each other better. And you guys, I'm gonna tell you, we have something so cool coming this month, but of course, lips are sealed. You're gonna see that coming. Um, you know, uh, I can't say when, but we have something really cool going on this month. So focus on what we have available now. And of course, there's like the exclusivity, right? If you want to know all of the, the company secrets, you have to get on this trip with the best of the best too. So you can know the secrets and you can tell your team next time. But she's going to bring up a secret, but then not tell us what it is to make it seem like she has the illusion of being like a celebrity and being special but she is a celebrity because she was the first ever person in monate and so jacqueline ortega joe Irigoyen, all those people are in her downline there's a lot of stuff to get excited about and to share with your potential market partners and vips but here's the thing is that you gotta reach out and you gotta ask and you've got to be you know going for the no and you've got to be following up so I just wanted to come to you because I was super inspired this morning and I'm so excited about what's going on in my business. You guys post in here, tell me what's going on with your business. Just tell me everything that's going on. So um, I, I just want to recap, you guys, I, I'm kind of saving it, but we've had a great, how long have we been here? Four days, honey? Has it even been four days? I don't even know. You're here and you lose track of time, right? Just like you always do in paradise. I even do it at my house. But all right, you guys, I want to see you succeed. And I know that so many of you have huge goals before the end of this year. What is your bad goal that by the end of this year, what are you going to achieve? All right, you guys, this is Tony uh, over and out. Mwah. I love you guys. And we're off on a boat tour this morning. Not sure if I'm going to snorkel, but um, I'm, I'm going on the hell. Sorry, I was about to click pause because I thought she was done. And then she's like bragging about what they're doing. She's going to go on a boat tour and maybe or maybe not snorkel. So she wants us to all succeed. She wants us to all meet our goals and make the money that we want to make in Monate. And she's saying this knowing very well that the majority of people in this company are losing money, are making no money, are putting themselves into debt, are struggling mentally with being in this MLM. She knows that. She knows what's going on as the first ever money market partner, but she is still pushing the dream. She's still making it seem like going to Bora Bora with the top leaders is attainable for your average person, and we know that it's not. We know she's being dishonest in this moment. She's being deceitful. She is being very selective with the information that she's sharing in order to make it seem like I could join money now and then go to Bora Bora next year. And we know that's not the case. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this short video and I'll see you next time. Bye.